Happy Tuesday. It is February the 7th and it is warm out. It's like the mid 60s going up to um, the 70s today. Very unusual. Uh, it's supposed to go back down to the 40s on Thursday when I'm supposed to be driving up to Alexandria. Um, but you know, it's it's weird and it shouldn't be like this right now, but I have to admit that I'm actually enjoying it. <laughs> I was outside working in the yard, cleaning some stuff up yesterday, <laughs> getting some of the last of the leaves out. Um, I may rake the leaves and pine cones that are on the front and maybe even get some seeds for clover. I cleaned up out here. Still haven't used my chainsaw, but I cleaned up a little bit out here, swept up. I had thought that maybe I was going to um, sit out here and make a video yesterday and have a cocktail, but I didn't. Uh, it, it got too late. Um, so that's what's going on uh, weather-wise here. I'm going to take you downstairs and chat at you for a little bit. I have some thoughts I wanted to express. So that's next. All right. Well, so here we are. Um, February and it feels like spring. My hair is growing out. What do you think? <gasps> There's a, you know, I have this uh, fascination kind of with long hair and um, I love it, but I don't think it looks good on me. Um, but I, I like the idea, my hair grows out, my hair falls out fast and then grows back in. So while I have a lot of hair at any given time, you know, the length varies so I can never have one of those really thick head of long hair um, like my daughter she's got an amazing head of hair <laughs> my son too um, anyway I'm growing it out because uh, it's winter time because I'm curious because I want to save money um, yeah uh, so that kind of uh, th this is going to be uh, a pretty random video <laughs> haven't made videos for about a week, I guess. Um, I actually made videos, but they're posted and listed because I made like four videos of an Aikido seminar um, that we had at our dojo this weekend, uh, but I just put those unlisted for the dojo. Um, so I was thinking about, okay, so yes, so this is going to be random, and I apologize for that. Um, and I wanted to go over, uh, just kind of talk it, talk it at you for a little bit. Um, I was thinking about money, I was thinking about making money, I was thinking about how nervous I get about generating income. Um, right now I, I still have some spousal support, but I really, I really have to get going. I think it would be healthier for everyone involved if I was just bringing in my own income. But it's weird because I lived as a homemaker and, and managing money. Uh, managing money I'm, I'm pretty good with. I'm pretty good at keeping track of it and not spending frivolously. Uh, I'm very good at denying myself things. Unless it's art supplies are really good booze. <laughs> Actually, no, I, I don't drink a lot, a lot, so. Um, food. I will spend money on decent food, not eating out, you know. I like to uh, minimize eating out or even getting anything out to maybe a couple, two or three times a month at most. So anyway, so I've always been really good at managing money and, and keeping track of it. Um, but generating it's 
a different story. It went, before I was married, I did. I, I lived on my own. I supported myself. But it wasn't for a long enough period of time that I accrued a lot of experience. And um, it wasn't long enough to really set that groove in my brain. So now I feel like it's something that, and, and I have felt like this for a number of years, which is why I haven't tried to get work outside the home. I mean, there are different reasons for that. Because I was managing a lot, my, my ex traveled a lot, and I was just, you know, taking care of the house and making sure everybody had a, a good upbringing and, and healthy food and their needs were taken care of and all of that. Um, but I have some very, very ingrained, very serious um, tapes in my brain about my own abilities uh, or lack thereof. Um, when I have tried to apply for jobs like cold apply, you know, online. Um, there's not much on my resume. There's not a whole lot on my resume. I don't have a degree in anything. Um, my skill set is somewhat narrow. Um, but what I do do, I do well have attention to detail and I'm responsible and you know I can learn things although when you're older it, it takes a while and you know 58 years old so think about somebody applying for let's say an office admin somewhere and you've got this young person in their mid-twenties um, you know maybe they've got a bachelor's in something um, they're very well versed in a lot more you know, computer stuff than I am, you know, are you going to hire the 25 year old or are you going to hire the almost 60 year old with little experience? So, you know, and this isn't, this isn't unique to somebody without experience once you reach a certain age. It's, it's very difficult. Um, so I've been trying to not freak out about it and take my time and advance my skills in the areas where I do have skills and get to know people and network um, but it's still hard and it's still scary and um, you know I, I have some I, I get very depressed and very uh, frightened about the future when I think of myself alone um, yeah, so, so I try not to, you know, it's really weird because it can go, it can flip-flop pretty rapidly. It, it, my feeling a lot of kind of desperation to feeling like, no, this is going to be okay. Um, so, you know, and, and when I get to that this is going to be okay part, I just keep, taking the steps forward, I'm creating physical artwork, I'm, I'm writing, I'm blogging, I'm, I'm um, making videos, um, talking to people, uh, but it's, it's hard and it's scary for me being alone because I've never been alone. <laughs> and um, it's not, oh god, it's just, it's like nothing I ever would have <laughs> imagined happening in my life. Um, I always felt, you know, whatever I was dealing with inside, even the anxiety, I felt safe and I don't feel particularly safe anymore. So I'm, I'm, I really got to work with that stuff. I'm working with the counselor. I think we may need to jump out of me talking about divorce stuff and, and all that and, and jump into the EMDR to address some of these uh, ongoing um, places of uh, pretty severe discomfort and 
that translates to um, a kind of a paralysis I have about moving forward. Um, so I'm going to be working on that. And, and in that regard, I've thought about monetizing my videos. And um, what I want to do, the, the videos that I've gotten the most views on are, are not necessarily the greatest quality videos, but, but in those videos I've been either showing how something that I'm cooking or uh, most of them are more related to my different art techniques. Um, and so I would like to do a lot of videos more about um, the photo encaustic process because it's, it's actually a, a very simple process. Um, anybody can learn how to do it. It doesn't have to be real expensive. I, th I thought at first it did. I thought I had to buy all these this expensive equipment, but you don't. And so doing the photo encaustic work, uh, doing the cyanotype and the toning and, and getting more into that. Um, just talking about art more um, and maybe doing some of the stuff from the garden, uh, either the, the actual gardening aspect and talking about different plants um, and using the plants, particularly the herbs and the different, in the different ways that I use them. So I was thinking, well, you know, I know it doesn't bring in a lot of money uh, for, for most people, but, you know, even every little bit helps, you know? Uh, uh, Twenty dollars will get me a, a few boards, you know, to do to do work on, um, you know, or buy some cyanotype sensitizer or something like that. Um, so I really need to get my head around the fact that I I can do this. In my greatest vision for myself, I see myself as getting out there and, and talking to other people in my position and saying, yeah, you know, you can do this. And here are ways to do it, you know, as, even as far as just living and getting beyond, getting beyond the, uh, the oh, just intense, um, profound uh, pain of, um, you know, a relationship that I valued and and saw differently than my partner at the time did. Um, I'm still, god damn, it's just so, it's just so hard for me. Maybe it's that Scorpio moon, I don't know. Um, I gotta check this for a second here. Okay, I don't, sometimes this bloggy works weird. That's the other thing I'm gonna learn how to use my DSLR for doing, um, some videos um, so you know and then and thinking that you know no you know I'm not defective it's not my fault <laughs> you know? um, uh, and 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 just moving through that um, and seeing if I can move through it successfully I don't know um, I've also thought about, you know, workshops, of course, continuing workshops, but not just about art, more about uh, creativity. I'm not, if somebody comes to my videos to get hard and fast technical um, um, instructions, that's not what I'm about. I take things and I use them how I use them, <laughs> and sometimes it's, it's you know, uh, by the seat of my pants, sort of like, well, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to do it this way. Um, so I'm more about discovering what works for me and would encourage that in other people and just, you know, basic guidelines and then take it and do it how you will. Um, just because I'm, you know, I'm not a technical person. Um, oh, what else was I going to say about all that? Uh, I may actually maybe most of it. So, you know, if you have any thoughts about what you might like to see in videos, um, you know, you can put it in the comments. Of course, opening myself up to monetization and, and seeking more subscribers and that sort of thing, because that's what it takes, is opening myself up and making myself vulnerable in other ways, too, 
Um, I'm not sure how well I deal with haters. <laughs> um, but I found that people, generally people who are um, doing artwork and even food and things like that, uh, if you're not revealing in, in a lot of these videos too much about your personal opinions uh, and personal life, there's, there's people who are coming to the videos because they, they want to learn something. Um, but it's, you know, you can't, you can't really separate that out. Um, <clears throat> so, so that's what's going on. I think what I'm going to do, the next videos that I might do, uh, I might be showing the uh, photo encaustic process that if you have an inkjet printer, um, if you have a hot plate, um, you know, you just need to buy maybe some, some encaustic gesso and the boards and probably the most expensive, the most expensive things would be the encaustic gesso, the boards, uh, the, the heat gun, uh, but you know, the heat gun you'll have for like, oh, actually the heat gun I think was only about 20, 20 bucks. Um, yeah, there's, there's a number of things you can buy, but they last for a long time, so it ends up being not a, a real expensive endeavor until you get, if, until you, unless you get into like encaustic painting when, you know, you're buying a lot of pigments and things like that. Um, for this, you just need the, the medium, which is Dahmer resin and beeswax. And it seems to last a, a long time, at least it is for me. So it's not, it's not a terribly expensive um, uh, art form to experiment with, and there are ways to do it cheaper than, than I thought originally before I was even doing it. I was looking at like the, the pallets for heating the, the wax and the, um, and the medium, and uh, you know, these pallets are like, I don't know, 200 some odd dollars, but for my purposes, for what I'm doing, and for what I saw in my class, you get a oster hot plate, you know, uh, a griddle, and you get, you know, cheap aluminum uh, tins, like baking tins, for, for heating your, your medium and stuff. So it, it doesn't, doesn't have to be as expensive as you might think. I mean, I think if you're doing more detailed work and actually doing painting rather than what I'm doing, you know, an investment in the palette might be necessary. but. Just starting out and more like for craft purposes, it, it doesn't have to be that expensive. So I was thinking about doing a more um, detailed series of um, videos on uh, what I have learned and, and how I am using um, the encaustic process for my artwork. Um, so that might be the next ones that that I do. Although I am going up to Alexandria in a couple days for the reception for the Ipsaity show at the Target Gallery in Old Town. And I do hope to make some videos there to share with you about that. And then I'm going to stay for a couple of days and, and I'll go up to um, the National Mall. I may go to, um, I have a, a Facebook friend who has a couple of um, artist studio gallery buildings where you know all the artists have their different different galleries, um, and I wanted to visit her and see those galleries. So maybe make a video about those too, because that would be cool to share. Um, so that's it for now. Just you know, plugging along, doing my best. Some days better than others. Um, but yeah, okay, that's all for now. Bye.